everybody, welcome back to Sunflower Cottage Crochet. This is Sarah, and today I'm going to talk about how to work the crab stitch. Some people call it the reverse single crochet, but I had been told that that's not entirely accurate. To work the reverse single crochet, you would still work to the left of your, your, your hook, like normal. Um, even, in, even if you turn your work, you're still working from right to left. But for the crab stitch, which also looks like a rope top edge, and therefore are sometimes also called the rope stitch, um, you work from the left to the right. And it is awkward. It makes a cool effect though. It is really just a finisher. It is not something you want to make a whole project out of. You'd probably rather break your fingers than do that. but. Uh, to get, show you how to get started with it, this is technically both flat and in the round because I made a chain and then worked on both in, both sides of it and then just kept going around. And uh, essentially this is how you would make booties and purse bottoms, by the way. I have a little extra for you. And if you're curious about this stitch, it is a single crochet, but it is a crossed single crochet. And... I have a video on this that I use this swatch to do, so be sure to check all of our videos out because there may be something that completely interests you in our lineup. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to be notified each time we go live or upload a new video. So without further ado, we're going to get started and I'm actually going to back this up a little bit. Okay, so let's say I've joined my work. This really works, again, best in the round. I'm going to chain up one. I am not going to turn, and I'm certainly not going to keep going around. I'm going to work back across this way. Yes, my hook is facing this way. I am going to have to twist it and make it go that way. But the twisting is part of uh, a big part of what makes this work. So yeah, you're just gonna, whichever way is more comfortable for you, insert your hook into that first stitch to the right, grab the yarn, and pull up. You technically do have two loops, but they're so twisted, it almost looks like one. Then you're gonna yarn over and pull through both those loops just like you would a regular single crochet. Now you can see this looks like a messy pile of uh, let's be nice and call it soft serve. So the first stitch always does. Really you don't get the look until you start working the next stitch because it forces it to lay down. So the next stitch, I don't know if you could see that, but when I go in, I'm going in at this angle. So my hook is facing this way, but I'm pretty much just pushing it up and down like this and going through. I still was able to get through. And then I grab the yarn and pull it up. And then I yarn it over and pull through both loops. So again, here's the next one to the right. I'm going to go right into it like normal. And instead of yarning this way, because you really can't, you just let it be underneath your hook and pull it through like that. Yarn over and complete the stitch. You can see now that it's laying down and it's looking more like a rope top. So here we go again. Just insert. And this happens to me all the time. It's almost like it completes a slip stitch rather than allowing you to do a single crochet. So you just re-grab that loop and then pull through. So we can see the next stitch we want to go into is right here. I'm just going to go right into it. Grab that yarn and pull up. I still have just the two loops. I'm going to yarn over and pull through both. It's incredibly twisted. And that's what gives it the crab claw or rope look. And as you do more and more, you obviously you get used to it. The one thing I will say is making sure that that 
working yarn, this piece does not get wrapped around or stuck on like this side. You need it to be as close as possible or else it's going to create a weird big loop and it won't look right. So half the time you see me sort of adjusting it, it's just something you're going to have to do. It does get easier with practice. See that time I didn't even have to adjust it. Do you see how fluid it actually becomes? And there you have it. Now if I worked all the way around, when I get back to the beginning, and technically it's gonna be like this, probably. What I wanna do is just kinda of go into a spot because it really isn't a clear one. And you wanna make sure this working yarn is kinda of behind here or right over where you wanna join and just join. And if I were to like chain up one and pull a loop push this back through so you could see the front. Normally you don't have to do this, but this isn't joined at the bottom, so. But that's what it would look like in the round. I love how it looks, to be honest, which is why a whole lot of our patterns include it. I hope this was helpful for you. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And remember to subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified when we upload more videos or go live. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.